The problem starts with a given partial scan of an object, which is often acquired by a depth camera from a single view. The goal then is to use deep learning methods to complete the reconstruction. There has been a remarkable progress in this research, which started from a very noisy point cloud reconstruction to refine details, which bring us much closer to the ground truth. However, there are still problems in reconstructing unusual structures. In this example, we highlight the large errors in red when we deviate from the average chair. This issue is even worse when reconstructing scenes. In this case, the completed scene is not even recognizable due to the amount of noise. Our goal then is aimed at solving these issues. Therefore, in addition to reconstructing unusual objects, we are the only method that was able to successfully perform semantic scene completion. Going to the problem at hand, most methods utilize the encoder-decoder architecture. However, instead of proposing a new architecture, we investigate the operators in the encoder and decoder. For this work, we propose three layers. Particularly, we derive novel methods for feature extraction, pooling, and upsampling. For the feature extraction, we start from the point cloud where we select the k-nearest neighbors in reference to an anchor. In this layer, the trainable parameters are the displacements from the anchor. Then using both points, we find the distance of the closest feature to the displacement vector and apply the tan-h activation. As a pooling operator in the encoder, most methods rely on the farthest point sampling. This selects a subset of features based on the farthest displacement to one another. In our case, we propose to use neighbor pooling, where we select based on the highest activation. When comparing the two options in our architecture, we notice that our neighbor pooling sketches the contours of the input point cloud to capture meaningful structures of the object. As a result, the architecture with neighbor pooling was able to correctly reconstruct the shape of the table. The upsampling is very similar to the feature extraction. The difference here is that we iteratively run the feature extraction. Now that we have all the operators, there are two ways to assemble them. One is a direct application, where we build an architecture solely from the proposed operators. Another way is to improve the existing architectures. Here we improve pointer as an example. For the evaluation, we distinguish the two architectures by calling them as direct and transformer. The evaluation shows that we achieve state-of-the-art performance in both object completion and semantic scene completion. Based on these results, we wondered if we achieve better results because of the encoder or decoder. We then introduced a mix and match ablation study. Since most architectures follow the encoder-decoder structure, we disentangle them then evaluate the combined sub-architectures from different methods. This evaluation demonstrates that our encoder and decoder individually achieve the best results. For any given encoder in every row, our decoder produces the best results. For any given decoder in every column, our encoder performs the best results.